Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. This is going to be part 13 of my coloring book collection series with completed pages. I have quite a few stacks of books over here. Again, they're all color by number and don't know how long it's going to take to get through all of this, but I'm going to make this my last part of the series. So it's probably going to be a long one, but yet there wasn't enough to break them up into two separate videos. So I'm just going to complete the series, get it done. I think 13 parts is enough anyhow. <laughs> So let's get going. I managed to find one more book by Color Questopia, and it's really different than all their other books. I don't know if this was maybe their first one out. I don't know. I don't remember when I bought this. Um, it's called Easy Design Adult Color by Number. This one is Jumbo Coloring Book of Large Print Flowers, Birds, and Butterflies. Or if maybe they did recently come out with this. I can't remember but it is not a mosaics book. So a little bit different than their other books. Color keys on the back. You can see it's a very simple one. All right. So I'm going to have to do some shifting around as I get some of these stacks over there. I do have a couple of books here. These are the Dots and Lines coloring books. These are all by Jennifer Rowling. Now, I only am showing two here because, again, this coloring book collection is of, as of uh, February 1st, um, I have been doing a ton of flip-throughs on my channel of additional Lines, Dots, and Spirals coloring books, all by Jennifer Rowling. And uh, it's all under um, Bright Ideas Paper Publishing. Um, but Jennifer Rowling, uh, R-O-L-L-I-N-G, is how you find them out on Amazon. And then there are a couple out by uh, Husky Wanna Fly. But again, it's underneath Bright Ideas Paper Publishing. So we have one called Christmas is Here. This is Dots and Lines. And you know how I love my dots and lines. So I did do a few in here, again with my Divicle Dual Metallic. And yeah, I probably have a good dozen other books now in their series. Um, but again, I'm not going to be showing them because I more just got them this past month. So this one is Volume 1, Dots, Lines, Animals. And not sure. Oh, yeah, I did that one. It's probably it. Yep. So if you're curious about all the other books that they have in these series, um, I do have flip throughs out on my channel in the flip throughs playlist. Okay, let's go on to Kira Shersneva, also known as Color Relaxation. She has the same color palette as Sun Life Drawing. I believe she had worked for Sun Life Drawing and is now out on her own. So this one is color by Number Quest Squares. So as the name implies, they're all square shapes to color in, and they are bigger. They're not the real small ones like Belba family. And I was starting this one. I was going to try it in the cross stitch method or X method. So I'm going to put this book on the side also. I keep saying that. All right, we have Color by Number Quest Christmas, and this one is triangles and squares. This one has all the different shapes. We got hexagons, triangles, squares, and circles, yes. So this has all four shapes in it. Didn't get a chance to get at that Christmas book. <laughs> This one I did though, <laughs> line spots dots. I colored all of the line pictures out of here <laughs> because again, it is my favorite. Look at those cute puppies in the Christmas stockings. Is that not adorable? And again, just by coloring lines. So yes, all of the line pictures are colored in here. <laughs> so every third one because she will have a circle one, 
one that combines lines and dots and then just the lines one so it's you know keeps going in order so i did every third picture <laughs> christmas tree again it's real hard to show you these because i you know do color them in the uh, either glitter gel pen or these are the divicle dual metallic but cute christmas or santa another adorable one have our christmas kitties with the stockings gingerbread house and then here i did start doing all of them and then after this i started just doing all the lines Isn't that cute And uh, that is it. Then we have Color by Number Quest hexagons. So, as you can imagine, these are all hexagon shapes. And I don't think I colored out of it. Nope. Then she came out with Color by Colors. I don't think... Well, actually, let, let's go through the. I don't have these in any particular order, as you can tell. But she did come out with line spots and dots for Halloween also. So, I may have done some in here. I'm not sure. Oh, yes. I, I figured I would have done something in it. I actually didn't go through and do all the lines. I can't believe it. <laughs> Okay, then, yes, she did come out with a new type of, it's not color by number, it's color by colors. You may have seen these on my channel or on somebody else's. Instead of coloring by a number, you just match up the color over here from the color palette. And you color them in and it's on this beautiful shiny paper and she's got colored backgrounds in here. I have not had a chance to color I think there are, what, three in this series now? Three or four? And yeah, I really have not had a chance to get at them yet, but they are wonderful. And I may not have, like I said, the other ones in this deck because it would have been after February 1st. So we have Flowers Stained Glass, color by number. Did that beautiful flower. And that's it. We have Color by Number Quest Triangles. So, all triangles. And I don't think I did anything in there. Nope. Now, <laughs> you wonder why I have two of these. Well, when she first went out on her own, she contacted me, sent me a PDF copy of this book. I loved it. I had taken it to our local Office Max, had it spiral bound, um, and I made, I laminated a cover and a back cover, a front cover, and I had them spiral bound, bind it, and I completed the whole thing. It's all lines. Now, unfortunately, what I did when I had them spiral bind it, it must have been my mistake. I had them or I had put in some of the pages upside down. So, oh well. But she then, when she started uh, putting her books out on Amazon, because initially she only had them as PDFs on Etsy, she then started, I asked her about, you know, if she was going to be making physical books and having them on Amazon. And she has decided now to go that way and has discontinued her uh, PDFs on Etsy. So mystery lines in the physical book and this is one of my 10 to complete this year even though i already did <laughs> so i have been working in this book again working on that one but yes have a lot of these done again these are all done in my divicle dual metallic So I'm going to go through them kind of fast because, like I said, I know this video is going to be longer than the rest were. 
and some of them got long enough, so. Don't want to get you too bored. But yes, love, love, love this book. And we have some cute guys in here too. <laughs> okay, so another one to put on the side. We have Mystery Dots, one color coloring. I think this is a newer book that I got. So I did that one. Let's see, is this for this month? I think so, yeah. So again, one to put on the side so I can put it down to show at the end of the month. Here we have another Mystery Dots. And I'm not sure if I colored in here yet. Nope. Then we have Mystery Spots. And I'm pretty sure I colored out of here. My gosh, I didn't. Wow. Okay, now I, hmm, debating whether I should even show these. She no longer has these out. She had the 100 Pokemon and the color by number, but I think she had to pull these off. So I'm not going to go through those. She does, however, have 100 Animals coloring book for kids in the regular version and the color by number version. And I have not colored anything in here, but you can see they're just really cutesy, cutesy little pictures. She goes through the alphabet. So the non-colored version, color by number version, and the color by number version with a very simple color palette. So these are out there as far as I know. <laughs> okay, so that's all of Kira's. Then I have quite a few here of um, the spiral uh, and, you know, the lines, dots, and spots um, and the spiral type of coloring books. So I have a couple here. This is by a Hypnotic, uh, no, this is by IQ Coloring Books. This one is Cat Coloring Book. These are, again, the very difficult ones to do. So I have not colored out of here yet. I will not be able to do these with my glitter gel pens. I think it's going to take fine liners. But then they also have a kitten one by IQ Coloring Books. Again, have not done anything in it. And then they have a dog one. Then I have a Disney Characters Coloring Book, The Dots, Lines, and Spirals have not this is kind of a more recent purchase have not had a chance to go through here again quite detailed then dots lines and spirals the walking dead now a lot of these are oh yeah i did do him um well on the next one it, it says the name but we'll we'll get to those but yeah not quite. Now, the, the ones that I don't like are these, where they're really big to the point where they have to go onto two pages. Yeah. It, mm. <laughs> no, thanks. So this has a bunch of different things in here to do. So I covered her. I think I did a couple things. Oh, her and then, yep, him. And then that one spiral one. Then we have Game of Thrones. These next two does say Philippe, what is it, Caron? Um, this one is Game of Thrones, and I have not colored out of here. And Supernatural. And again, have not colored out of here. And then finally, Jason Momoa and Chris Hemsworth and the most sexy actors on the planet. Don't know why I picked this one up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so more of the same. And again, some of the spirals are the great big ones. I guess, you know, once you color it and stuff, it's still going to look kind of neat. And you don't have to go way into, 
you know, the binding itself because it does end right here. So it's not going to be terribly difficult to color, but I did start this one. These can be challenging because the lines are very, very thin. And again, I, I can't draw a straight line if my life depended on it. So I'll keep working on that one. <laughs> All right. On to the next item is these circulism books. Um, oh my gosh, I have one in the living room because I just did a color and chat out of it. Or do I have it in here? Nope, I think I took it out there. It is called The Forest, um, but it goes along with these. So this, this is our latest one. I think The Forest... Actually, I think there's two more. Sorry. Um, this one is Mandala. They're by Eclipse. A.J. Quinnell. These are so much fun. You have a color palette here that you can match up with the names in the middle. It's on this really nice, high quality, shiny paper. But if you don't want to pay the premium price, they do have standard paper versions available also for a few bucks less. So they do give you the option. They do not have a color palette, you know, on the opposite side. Um, but in the front of the book, I'll show you as soon as I'm done turning here. I did that one. Again, did I not show these at the end of the month? <laughs> I'm bad. That one and this one. In the front, they do have the color palette also. So you can cut this out or there is one in the back also. So you have the color palette in three different places. So you could very easily cut one out and keep it with the page that you're doing. So that one is mandalas. Then we have mandala shade. So it has like a 3D effect. And this one has all different colored backgrounds. Again, this is a um, more expensive version on this very nice, high quality, shiny paper, but there is a standard uh, version available. So I did that one and that one. Oh, I love, love, love these books. I have to get at them more. And then, like I said, I, I know for sure there's one called The Forest because I just did a color and chat out of it. And, hmm, Sea Life? Boy, it seems like there was another one. This one is called Circulism Art Book. This one's called Animal Pop. It's a little bit different than the others. Some of it's the same. You do still have your circles, but just the animal itself is in circles. And then you have a background that you can color in however you would like. So again, a little bit different. There's like a pattern in the background. And I don't think I colored out of it. Nope. Another series that I absolutely love are these crusted style coloring books. And they're in no particular order. There are five of them out now. This one is called City Dreams and it is exactly what it sounds like. It's again on this nice high quality shiny paper, but instead of numbers being in here, there's little bitty symbols in the middle or somewhere in this X that you have to see on here. If you have a vision impairment of any sort, it may be a little difficult for you. I know others have used um, magnifiers to do these. Once I get going and I find that symbol in here, it kind of pops out at me, so I don't have too big of a problem doing these, but you do have to have good lighting. <laughs> so I did that one and that one. You always get a preview of the image over here, so you kind of know what it's going to look like. Um, sometimes it's kind of hard to find the symbol in here, and you can look at this and say, okay, I know I got red down there, there, and there. Kind of gives you a heads up as to where to look for these little symbols. <laughs> we have Adorable Nature. Did I do that one? Yes did that cute little squirrel. 
I didn't finish it. I gotta do the blue. Oh my goodness. And I did that one. Another one to put on the side. Holy cow. Geometrical Joys. This is one that they came out with. This is their newest one. And I love this one because, you know, I love my geometrical patterns. Actually, this probably shouldn't be in here because I think this is after uh, February 1st. <laughs> Oops. So, yep, that one. Fantastic Flowers. Um, and I just, uh, uh, I guess, a hint. If you're going to be using alcohol markers in these books, it's a good idea to start from the back of the book and go to the front of the book. And the reason being, your alcohol marker is going to bleed through, of course, and it's going to cover up this. So if you work backwards, it's not going to make no, never mind. You know, if you use water base, it's not going to matter. Um, however, you know, if you color this with alcohol marker, it's going to be really hard to see this. So, yeah, just, just a little hint. And I did one more. Yep, did that one. So you can see it goes over the top of this. And then the very first one. And then the last one. Love my Christmas books and <laughs> Christmas delights. So I did a few of those in here. Whoops, quite a few, I should say. <laughs> Time for cookies, cocoa, and movies. Yeah, these turn out so awesome, and they do look just like cross stitch. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for the glare. Again, shiny paper. This time you can't blame it on my glitter gel pens. It's the paper. So that's how many I did. And again, because I am using alcohol markers, I'm starting from the back of the book. All right, on to another series, Zen Doodle. So we have Zen Doodle Color by Number. This is Sea Life by Jeanette Womel. And I do not know if I have colored out of any of these. You have your color palette here. You have the colored in images. Yeah, I don't know if I have gotten around to any of these. We have Playful Pets, again, by Jeanette Wommel. These are adorable. Spring Awakening by Deborah Muller. Now, I did say in my intro, you know, I'm just, I'm not, I know many people are, I'm not a Deborah Muller fan. However, <laughs> the exception being these couple of Zendoodle color by number books that I have of hers, I do like. So, did that with a uh, marker. I think that's it. And then Stained Glass, again, by Deborah Muller. Did that one. That one. Now, these books, for some reason, I'm finding a hard time coloring with alcohol markers in them. Um, I think I did this one with water base because of that. It's like, I don't know, the, the paper must be different because it, it sucks up your alcohol ink so fast that even alcohol markers get streaky on this paper in these books. I don't know. All right. Another whole big series of books are all of my mindware books. So first we're going to go through color counts. These are all color by number books. Again, they're all by mindware. Some of these you can find on Amazon. However, not all of them. Some of them you have to go directly to mindware.com and look at their coloring books. So... So these are all color by number. Some of them are double page spreads. You'll get the color by number version and then you get a non color by number version. So you get two of each image. 
And most of these are mm, on the new-ish side, so I have not gotten a chance to color in any of these Color Counts books yet. But again, that one was Sun Catchers. This one is Animals. And again, I'm sure I didn't color in it. No. And it's hard to do flips of these books because of those double page spreads in there. This one is Under the Sea. And no. Magical Forest. Kaleidoscopes. Oh, I did do one. Oh, yeah, I remember doing this now. Did that glitter gel pen. Can you believe it? It was a lot of fun. Hmm. Kaleidoscopes. Is that the same thing? It looks different, though. What in the world? It's different colors. Hmm. Well, isn't that interesting? What if the pictures are the same? Well, I'm going to go through it on my own time. A couple more to put on the side so I can look at it, see if they're the same book. Tropical. See, always, it always wants to flip to the double page spreads. Sun Catchers. We have a garden. Started at that one. Mythical fantasy. Some of them are a little bit more detailed than others. And finally, fairies. So I did color out of a couple of them. Then we have the whole mystery mosaics line. I'm going to pull from the bottom because that's how they're numbered. So we have book number one. Some of these are no longer available um, either on Amazon or on the Mindwear uh, website. So just FYI. Volume one. Again, some of these, the answers are always in the back, by the way. Some of these um, are double page spreads and some are just uh, single page. So here is a double page spread. These are all color by number squares. So that's why they're called Mystery Mosaic. So of course, Lisa loves them. <laughs> so then we have some single pages. Some people, like me, go to the back, pick out picture that I'd like to do, and some people don't like looking in the back because they don't want to know what they're coloring. Love how that turned out. I usually always use my um, Crayola Super Tips in here. So I'm going to turn them back upside down so I keep them in the right order so they're not backwards. <laughs> Book number two. So I suppose I could show you kind of the images that are inside of them huh? real quickly. Give you an idea, I guess. Colored this double pager, and I actually did this in glitter gel pen. Wow. <laughs> I was ambitious. <laughs> And that one again in glitter gel pen. Then we have a book three. These are the images. Again, just to give you an idea if you're looking for one of these books, what's in each one. Had to do this cutesy mermaid double page spread. 
a mermaid fairy. So I did her. And I did the opposite page, which is a double page spread of a gecko. Now, get these back together. There we go. So, yeah, double page spreads are fun in here. <laughs> they don't intimidate me as much, that one, as like double page spreads in uh, Kirby's books. Then we have book four, and these are the images in this book. And we'll see which ones I did. Of course, I had to do the hummingbird. Again, glitter jumping. Must have been before I found my love for Crayola Super Tips in here. But that turned out pretty, didn't it? In the glitter gel pen. Love it. Book five. You know, when I'm looking at what is all left sitting on my desk, I am going to have to split this up into two. There is no way I'm going to get through all this in one video. Because I have one, two, three more big stacks left after this. So, yeah, we're going to split it up. <laughs> it's just going to be too long. I don't want to make this an hour and a half long for you guys. So... It is gorgeous goldfish. Isn't that beautiful? I love all the colors in there. So, and then I'm also not going to feel like I got to rush, 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 because I have so much to show you yet. Those two, just gorgeous. So, yeah, I, I just made that executive decision. This beautiful mallard duck. And these are so easy to do. I did have a request quite a while ago to do a color and chat out of one of these. So there is a color and chat from one of these books. I don't remember which one. This is book six. So I'll kind of, isn't that one cute? <laughs> Be a great Easter one. Hey. And in the back of each book, you do get a sample picture. I think they're usually from a Color Counts book. So just FYI. Oh, there's a couple of them. Okay. So, did that one. Such pretty, vibrant colors. And those Crayola Super Tips, you know, they, they do just a fantastic job in these books. Because the lines are so thick in here and the Crayolas, you know, when you use them at the tip, you can get into, you know, I mean, they just, they color nice in these books. Book seven. Let's look at these pictures. Any pretty. Oh, I remember doing that one. So I know I did that one in here. <laughs> Did they be? Oh, and this one I did in glitter gel pens again, so it was quite a while ago, but turned out gorgeous. How I managed to find all them different colors, I don't know. <laughs> it's when I had a huge, huge stash of all these different brands, which I no longer do. It's too hard to match up the colors when you run out of a color. <laughs> And we have book eight. And these, and they're pretty. So, did that one. Of course. 
And I did do this double page spread and it is so pretty. You never know which way it folds out. Yeah, there you go. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love it. <laughs> Fold them back in. That one. And another double page spread. Look at that awesome colorful octopus. <laughs> Vibrant he is. Can't miss him in the ocean. We have book nine. The pictures from here. Oh, I don't know if I did that one. Oh, that's cute too. Hey. Whoops. Yeah, this one too with the double page spreads, it's hard to flip. Did the sea turtle. Which way are you opening? Let me see. Let me in, let me in. Oh yes, this one. And then I did do the kitties. I figured I would have. <laughs> so cute. And that's all in there. We have book 10, but you didn't see that coming. Here are the pictures from in here. They're pretty. And this one, I'm sure I did that one. <laughs> I am sure of it. And I'm pretty sure I remember doing that one. Oh, we did the hippos too. Get out of my way, books. Out. Okay. <laughs> And saying, my, what big teeth you have. Either that or you're saying, you got a big mouth. And that dragonfly gorgeous. So pretty. Boy, this really gives me the itch to get these books back out again. So much to do, so little time. I must really like these uh, double page spreads. <laughs> That one. Sometimes the double page spreads are a little bit hard to open because they stay non perforated, if that makes any sense. So you got to kind of pull them out a little bit. But, but yes, love, love, love that one. And I think, oh no, yep, I was right, did do this one. <laughs> Book 11, these are the images from in here. I remember doing that one, and I think maybe that one. And let us see. Yep, here's the, the double page spread. Which way are you coming out? This way. So the whole wheelbarrow full of pretty flowers. Oh yeah, the hot dog. And the jukebox. We have a book 12. I don't know if they have any new ones out. They were up to book, I believe, 17. So we got a few more to look at. <laughs> yes, I remember that one. Gorgeous. <laughs> Me. <laughs> okay. Yes, this one. Oh, 
The colors in here are just stunning. Look at that. Oh, I think this is my favorite out of all of the books. Especially with the white dots around. And again, these aren't just squares. They do do the half squares, as you can see. But it makes it look so much better, right? Less pixelated. Isn't that stunning? Oh. <laughs> and again, the Crayola Super Tips are just so vibrant. They do a fantastic job in here. Ah, there will be a good one for St. Patty's Day. And that one. Another really pretty one. Our Cardinal. I think that's it. And a book 13. And the images from in here. Mm, love that one. That's pretty too. Okay. Well, let's see what I did. I don't remember. <laughs> oh yeah, I did do the egg. Wasn't sure. Great memory, but it's short. And I figured I did do the unicorn, of course. After all, it is rainbow colors and purple. I mean, would be foolish of me not to color this one. <laughs> so, yes. He turned out gorgeous. Or she. Book 14. And pictures from in here. Hmm. Oh yes, this is the picture. <laughs> Word of warning, if you're thinking of picking up the 36 set of colored pencils that go along with these books, I wouldn't suggest them at all. They are, oh, they're horrible. They're horrible. They're 10 times worse than Crayola pencils. And they say highly pigmented uh, professional pencil or something like that. But no, this I colored and I was pressing as hard as I possibly could. Because I thought I want to try them out, right? Mm. Well, I did persevere and I did finish the picture, but oh my heavens. So I definitely would not recommend, even though they're numbered and they correspond with, you know, all of these. It was great. I thought, oh, this would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh -uh. I do not recommend. Needless to say, that's the only picture I did with those. And did that double page spread. Oh, so pretty. And book 15, we're almost there, folks. We have these. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I don't think I did that one. I'm sure I did that one, though. <laughs> then again, maybe not. Hmm, I know what's on my to-do list. Yeah, I didn't get to this book at all. Oh, oh we must fix that. Yeah, because these are the latest books, so maybe not. Book 16, because the other ones I had for quite a number of years. Oh, yeah, I don't think I colored out of these. Oh, yes, we must fix that. That is gorgeous, too. Hmm. I wonder if I even looked at these. Oh my. Oh, we have a narwhal. <laughs> yeah, maybe did not get to these at all. Oh, I got to remember that. <laughs> Last but not least, we have a book 17. I love the fact that even though it's been a number of years, you know, since book one came out, they have kept their exact same format. All the books look identical. So they store really easily and nicely on your shelf. Oh, look at that fruit salad. They look good. 
Oh, must do. Must do. <laughs> must do. Oh, must do. Ah, oh, look at that bunnies. Oh my gosh, I'm definitely gonna have to get this book out. Because, uh, yeah, I'm sure I did not do any in here. Oh, I did do that one. Whew. <laughs> okay. Lots more to do, though. Okay, folks, guess what? We're going to call it a day. Um, yeah, I have one, two, three more big sacks of books. So I'm going to save that for the very last part of this series. So that'll be part, what, 14? So, yeah, and then we'll be done. I was hoping to get this all done this weekend, but guess not. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, I hope you're enjoying this series. If you like it, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I'm putting out new videos. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day and as always, happy coloring. Bye guys.